Hello, Saxo friends. Kajun here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best practice tips, tools, and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster. Now, my purpose is to serve, motivate, and to inspire you. Now, in today's lesson, I am going to show you one of the warm-up exercises that I use to get a nice, round, full, warm, emotional sound on my saxophone so it only takes five minutes and if you do this consistently over a long period of time you are going to notice some tremendous growth as it relates to how you sound on your horn not just in the middle of your horn but in the higher register and the lower register as well so basically what you're going to do let me grab my saxophone you are going to be playing your middle d which are one two three okay these one two three notes here and then one two three right here with your octave key and you are going to slur your way up so you start on your d and you go up to your d sharp or e flat now if you want the sheet music for this you can check the link in the description below i have a free course with this exercise on my website for free for free yes for free and i'll also include a planner a 30 days planner that you can use to make your notes as well as to writing the other exercises that you are practicing to become better on your saxophone now a few things that you will need is a tuner because you want to ensure that all the notes are in tune when you are playing them so that when you are playing against a backing track or you're playing with others you are in tuned. I will leave a link below this video so that you can grab a tuner on Amazon. And if you don't want to grab one of these, you can download a free app from the app store on your phone. Additionally, you need to use a metronome as we are going to play each note at 70 beats per minute. So you're going to hold each note for four beats. So your D for four, slur up to your D sharp or E flat, then slur back down to your D, hold for four, and then you rest for four. Now, one of the things that I do is that once I set my embouchure, I am not going to move my embouchure. So I'm going to be breathing through my nostrils. That ensures that you keep a tight embouchure. And by the time you finish this exercise, your embouchure should be burning because you're going to be doing this for five minutes straight. Additionally, what we're going to do is set a timer for five minutes and we are going to move up the horn all the way to our high F sharp. Now, if you cannot go up to your high F sharp, you go to the highest note on the horn that you can go to without squeaking and then you start to descend on your horn in the same fashion the next thing that i use is to journal so i i journal each day and what i do is make a note of where i stopped so for example today we are going to go in the upper register and then we're going to descend once i reach that high f sharp so tomorrow, if I don't complete it in the five minutes, which I won't because we're going at 70 beats per minute, I won't be able to do the entire range up and down. So wherever I stop tomorrow or the next day, tomorrow you start descending and then after you complete the descension then you start ascending the re in reverse order. And what you do, you keep a track of that by writing in a notebook or a journal. I'll also leave a link below for that. Additionally, I am going to include a planner that you can use to check the boxes. And what I like to do is to draw smiley faces for each day when I practice to show that I completed my practice. And you don't want to do this for more than five minutes because your embouchure will be burning and after those initial five minutes you give yourself a break before you go on to whatever else you are going to practice and what you do you do this on a consistent basis so over a 
30 day period, I continue to do this like every day. And then I have a mixture of other warm up exercises for my embouchure so that I can continue to develop my sound. You have to think about your sound over a long period of time. You'll always be working on your sound. So you will not be able to get a solid sound in just a few days or in one week or a month. It's over a long stretch of time. But if you do this exercise, after a couple of days, you are going to begin to notice some tremendous improvements if you follow the steps that we are going to take. So practice along with me. If you're on alto saxophone, if you're on tenor, then you'd have to practice by yourself, but the same principle applies. So I'm going to set my five minutes and then we are going to do it. And once the five minutes are over, I am going to stop and then pick it up tomorrow.
All right, Saxo friends, I hope that you found this video helpful. And as always, push play until something happens. Peace.